In this demonstration, I'll show you how to create a simple leaderboard using data from a Google spreadsheet. In this leaderboard, I'm going to find out which was Pele, the great Brazilian footballer's best year. To do this, I'm going to use um, a weighted leaderboard where he gets points for appearances and points for his goals. We'll find out which year comes top of the Pele leaderboard. A Google spreadsheet, if you haven't used one before, is just exactly like an Excel spreadsheet, only it is online. If you have a Gmail or a Google account, then you'll have access to the Google Docs spreadsheet system where you can create spreadsheets. As you can see, in my spreadsheet, uh, I have a column for a year, which will be our players. I have a column for appearances and a column for goals. These will be the two variables. In Leaderboarded, I set up a new data source, having previously connected with Google via my profile. I choose the Google spreadsheet as my um, as my data source. So, uh, and the worksheet is the the standard sheet one. And I click save and close. Now it's time to create the new leaderboard. I'll give my leaderboard a name. Uh, and it, I can have space for description here. Um, I'll make it public so anyone can see it. Uh, and I will cut and paste a URL that I've prepared earlier. Next, I'll choose my players. In this example, the years are the players. So I'll, 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 I'll choose the year name as the name. You can also use Twitter username or email address here instead. Now I need to add the two variables. Uh, I'll again choose my data source with Google Spreadsheet, and this time the first variable will be appearances. I click on add, add variable to add the data source to the variable to this, the screen. I can change the legend if I like to be something a bit more uh, meaningful. So I'll just ch change that to say appearances. I'll add my other variable, which is the number of goals. Uh, and again, I will just add in goals there. Okay, in release schedule, um, it's going to be inactive. So I'll just I'll just click save now. Now the weighting appears. I can now modify the weighting of the two different variables. So uh, weight I will give to appearances will be twenty percent, and to goals eighty percent because I care more about goals than I do about appearances. Now it's time to save and preview the leaderboard. So we can find out here that the best year was in fact 1959. I can see that based on, click on show and hide calculations to see how that was calculated. Um, and in 1959 you can see that he got 15 appearances and 11 goals. That was one of his best years, uh, better than certainly 1965 where he had 9 goals and 8 appearances. That all looks good, so it's now time to publish the leaderboard. I've published the leaderboard. Uh, and having published it, I can I can view it in full screen, which looks makes it look a little bit nicer and provides this nice bitly link for me to share with my uh, friends on Twitter, uh, and to share that on Twitter, I can share that leaderboard so that anybody who um, is on Twitter can click on that link and see the leaderboard. All very cool, thanks to Leaderboarded.